So first we start by placing the neck strip over the client's neck and folding it and not putting it into a knot. Then we place the drape over the client and make sure that the cape is not too tight around the client's neck. Then we start with the client consultation to see the desired hairstyle the client wants. After the client consultation, we discovered that the client would like a one fade with the three being the longest guard at the top. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using my knowledge of the three being the longest guard and I'm running it against the grain of the head, making sure that the whole head is even and it'll create my neat canvas for the start of the one fade. As you can see, as I'm doing this, the comb never leaves my hands. I continuously comb down the hair after running it through the clippers to make sure that all of the loose hair is out and to make sure there's no leftover hair sticking out. After completing this step, I'm using the one guard close, sorry you couldn't see it, and I'm going to bring my guideline to the sideburns, to the lower recession, making a slight dip at the occipital bone and connecting it to the opposite side as well. It is always important to have a clean and neat sections and guidelines for cutting, especially in a fade. It'll keep you from getting lost. And after that, go over it a couple times just to make sure all of the hair is cut even. Now I'm going to use my two guard closed and bring it slightly above mid recession with a slight flicking motion at the end on the pass over to connect the opposite sides. This is to set up the transition between my first guideline and my second guideline. Also wanted to point out that when you're holding clippers you don't want to hold them too tight but just enough for control. Now we're going to use a one and a half guard closed and bring a line slightly above the two guard. We're still using the flicking motion to begin fading down to the first guideline of the one guard. Don't forget to keep brushing as you're cutting. Brushing helps you keep a clean canvas. Now I'm going to continue to use the one and a half guard and open it up and go slightly below the guideline I just created with the one and a half guard closed in a flicking motion still. If you go straight into the haircut without flicking, you'll create another line, which will make your fade too high and it'll make it harder for you to fade. Now I'm gonna take my one guard open and use it to connect the first guideline to the one and a half guideline to get rid of any dark spots left behind. Once you complete those steps, you can go back and fix any mistakes you made with the other guards. Go back to the two guard but open it and blend the two guard open into the three guard, using the same flicking technique as the previous steps all around the head. Again, you can go back and clean up any dark spots. Use your mirror. So now I like to start my shape ups in the back of the head, starting at the nape, connecting to the back of the ear and towards the temporal areas. Make sure the lines are natural and not too pushed back into the actual feed. Now we're gonna use the corner of the trimmers around the curves of the area and use the bottom of your hand as something to secure the movement of the head and have that pivot point. Repeat on the other side and round off the back, making the bottom of the neck into a circle. Repeat for the temporal bone area as well and follow the natural shape of the hairline. Moving into the front hairline, make sure you follow the natural hairline and keep the trimmers straight. I find it easier to start at the middle of the hairline and work my way outwards back towards the temporal area. Keep the head still and the blade as straight as possible while working your way. Hand positioning for the trimmers when giving a shape up is hold them facing down and only using the edge. And again, having a relaxed hand when holding the trimmers. Continuously brush the hair down as well. And always look in your mirror, it never lies. Here, I'm just cleaning up the back of the neck, moving the neck strip down and getting all the little hairs in the back of the neck. Here, I'm just showing the client the back of his head to make sure it's his desired style. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys took a little something from this and you know, just let me know how you think I did. Thank you.